A lot of people think that down the road, these criminal charges will be the things that take down Donald Trump. While they may be the things that put him in jail, he may be taken down very hard, very fast, and much quicker than you think. You see, Letitia James's lawsuit against Donald Trump for business fraud is coming up October 2nd. She's looking for a minimum of $250 million. Keep in mind, the Manhattan District has already convicted the Trump Organization for fraud, his CFO, Alan Weisselberg, for fraud, and now the lawsuit. Donald Trump will most certainly lose this lawsuit, and Donald Trump is already cash poor. You hit him with $250 million, and she also is suggesting that his family never do business in the state of New York again. Well, that lawsuit will not put him in jail. It's a civil suit. It will take him down several notches and may destroy any future that he has. As I said, he's already cash poor. He can't pay his legal fees. He's got to steal from his packs to do it. And when Letitia James hits him with this lawsuit, October 2nd, not that far away. That may be the linchpin to taking Donald Trump out of the equation. He won't be in jail, but he will have no money, no standing, no nothing. In fact, many of his things, his his possessions might be taken to pay this off. Places like Mar-a-Lago or Bedminster. That's why he wanted to try to get it in Donald Trump Jr.'s name. Well, You can't do that legally. Now Donald Trump knows. But we're all excited about the crimes, but don't forget about that lawsuit. It's a big one, and it may be the one that takes Donald Trump down.